guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I've been gone for a little bit. It feels like it's been a while since I've posted a video. I know I posted my November favorites just a couple of days ago, but that one had been filmed like a week ago. Um, it's just kind of been a really busy time, what with Thanksgiving, and then um, we um, traveled for just a few days this last weekend, and so it's just kind of been very um, a whirlwind, just very, very busy, and so I am happy to kind of get back to filming some videos because it just, my pattern had gotten to where I was filming so much and editing and uploading so much that it almost has felt weird <laughs> not doing that. And so um, I am very excited to come to you with a new video of a, technically it's a Sephora haul, um, but what it really is is kind of a preview into the spring 2017 products. Um, Sephora did a launch. They did a special preview for VIB Rouge the day before Cyber Monday. And then Cyber Monday they did release these products um, overall for one day only. And it was like a special sneak peek of the new spring items. And it just feels so weird because it feels like companies now... Um, they release holiday products starting in like September, October, and then by the time you get into like early December, they're starting to release spring products, which can be confusing and in a way it doesn't really make sense. Um, I mean, I know they have to kind of pre-launch a little, but you would think spring 2017 would kind of launch around February or something, you know, in time for March and April. But that has not been the case for the past few years, it seems like. And so, of course, I have, you know, I'm happy with any opportunity for new collections or new, you know. Um, and so I am very excited. I was excited to pick some stuff up. I didn't pick up an extensive amount just because holiday was so overbearing with so many releases. Uh, but I did want to pick up a few things that interested me from the spring lineup. Um, just to go give y'all a heads up, I was able to snag everything I wanted from the Mac Mariah Carey collection. I was able to do the, um, I got access to the pre-launch because Mac actually now does, um, kind of like Sephora where VIB Rouge, you know, you get like a little bit early access to a few things. Well, Mac does that now. Um, and then I reached the tier that gave special access. I reached that tier with the extra dimension skin finishes that I bought not too, too long ago. Anyway, so I have a video coming on that very, very soon, probably like a first impressions. I'm very excited. I know Tarte has released a couple of things that I'm really interested in. They've released like volume two of the Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette, as well as the like um, twinkling lights, or I forget what it's called, but the highlight palette, they've released volume two as well. And so so I have not picked those up yet, I'm kind of just going to haul this for now, show you this for now, and then there will be more videos to come. But let's go ahead and jump right in after that super long intro, I'm sorry about that. Let's go ahead and see what is in store for spring 2017. Okay, I'm trying to decide what to go through first. I think I'll leave the lip products for last. I am going to start with the, I guess, smallest product of the bunch, and I will do a video on this, but this is the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. I don't know that this is entirely spring. This one's kind of its own little loner self, um, because this was, I think, intended for December, for winter. Um, but this is the really tiny version of the um, chocolate bar palettes. Um, they're called the Chocolate Chip Palettes. Too Faced released one exclusively to the Too Faced site, which was all mattes. And then this one right here um, has quite a bit of, you know, satin, shinier shades. I have certain thoughts on it, and I will do a video very, very soon. Um, mm. Anyways... <laughs> I, when it came in, it was like the it's like the size just slightly bigger than a credit card, so it's you know not entirely fascinating. And then, as it turns out, like six of the shades are already included in that chocolate shop palette released exclusively to Sephora. So more to come on that because I do have a few more thoughts. I kind of want to use it a little bit more before I give you an in depth review. Um, but just to give you an idea, and I think they're so. I think they're supposed to re-release this, so if you didn't get a chance to get your hands on it, um, that's going to come up again soon. But just to give you an idea, there's those swatches right there. Um, and then, <laughs> I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it, pretty sheer. Um, but yes, more to come on that. I will do a Dazzled or Disappointed so that you um, kind of get a little bit more in-depth information on it. So more to come on that. Um, but it's, again, super, super tiny, size of a credit card. 
or just slightly bigger. Um, keeping in with the palettes. Now one of these is, well both of them are super exciting, but I got the NARS Narcissist Unfiltered 1 blush palette. They released two, um, the 1 and the 2, the 2 being lighter. It's got more of the peachy pinky shades, which I love. Um, I love those lighter shades, uh, but this one is the one that caught my attention for one of them, for one shade in particular. Um, but the mirrored case matches the theme pretty much of the palette. So this one's got like an orange cover and you're going to see that it'll match the colors inside. The volume two has like a pink cover and that one matches kind of the peachy pink theme going on there. Um, but I have not used any of this yet. So um, y'all are pretty much the first to see my impressions on this. But oh my goodness. So... <laughs> I bought this one for this red shade right here, which is called Exhibit A. I don't have anything like that, and I know it seems and looks intimidating. It looks very scary, um, but it's one of those, I think, with a light hand, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. Um, so you kind of get just an array of colors. You have a mauve, like a berry mauve-ish type shade. You kind of have a... Um, it's like a brown type shade. It almost reminds me like a darker version of Luster. Um, just kind of like a highlight right here. An orangey shade right here. So it's got kind of a mix. And that's why I liked this one over the Volume 2. The Volume 2 was just very, very light pinks and peaches. And I just thought I have enough of that. And so I don't have a red. Let's go ahead and let's swatch a few of these. I'm just, wow. Oh, so it comes off almost like an orange. But man, that is pigmented. So... These are very, very pretty. Wow. So that's three of them right there. Let me see um, if I can figure out which ones I even swatched. So I know I swatched um, Exhibit A, Chic, and Takeover. Let me validate that. Yep. Exhibit A, Chic, and Takeover. So that's what those look like. And that's what those look like right there. So um, ladies with deeper skin tones, this palette is right up your alley. Um, it's got those darker shades that would stand out on you more. Um, just absolutely beautiful. Like I said, this one right here, um, definitely one that you'd want to go in with a light hand. But the pigment, uh, the pigmentation is just really, really nice. So that's what those look like. That is the Narcissist. Um, unfiltered one palette. Right, last palette is the Hourglass Ambient, um, it's the Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush Palette. Now, they did release one of these last year that I did pick up, and I absolutely love it. Um, it's just the perfect amount of pigmentation and luminosity. I do, do love these palettes. Um, now, that being said, when I first ordered it, I thought, okay, I'm gonna order it, but... I'll take a look at it before using it, and if it doesn't look like it's something that, um, if I'm not crazy about it, I will ship it back without using it. However, um, and the main reason for that is because there's a duplicate in here from last year's palette, which is Incandescent Electra. Now, I've talked to you before about Temtalia.com. Her blog, her beauty blog, is absolutely incredible. It's so in-depth. You find out about releases before they happen so that you're in the know. Um, you get reviews on everything. It, she's just amazing. So she did review this palette and she had mentioned that the Incandescent Electra in this palette is actually quite a bit different than the last one, even though they're named the same. I thought, okay, well if that's the case, I don't care if they're named the same. If they're two totally different things, then that makes it more worth it to me to have the three different shades as opposed to, well, I bought the palette for two shades because I already own one. So I have read reviews on Sephora.com for people that have been buying this already and I have read quite a few people saying that this is very very glittery now when I look at it yes it does look glittery however if the pigmentation is there I love when things have shimmer glitter I don't care I'm all about the sparkle and so that is not something that bothers me um, but we'll just have to wait and see you know, if, if that really is, if that holds true, if they are sheer but with glitter, then of course it doesn't make it worth it. So let's go ahead and swatch these. Okay. Mm. That second, that nude shade, I could see how that works. And these do have quite a bit of sparkle. I know a lot of y'all are not crazy about sparkle, glitter, shimmer in your blush or highlighting products. This has quite a bit. So 
Incandescent Electra Brilliant Nude and Euphoric Fusion. I love how they swatch. They swatch beautifully. This one does look more like a highlight, the nude shade. I, it looks like mine. You know how they're marbled when they're baked differently? Um, they, I guess when they're baked, they marble differently. And mine looks like it has more of the strobe powder than the uh, blush pigment. So I'm um, not sure how I feel about that, but this is what they look like. I think they swatch very, very nicely. Um, like I said, the nude, there is absolutely no pigmentation on there, so I would probably use that more as a highlight or a you know blush topper than I would an actual blush because there's just no pigmentation there. Um, however, I do love the sparkle. Um, very, very pretty. Especially that mauve shade, which is Euphoric Fusion. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, but you can swatch one thing, it swatches, you know, great, and then you put it to the test and use it, pick it up with a brush, and it is a complete disappointment. So more to come on this because I don't um, have final thoughts for you quite yet. I haven't used it. So moving on, let's go on to this um, face product. So Glam Glow released a new face product. And if you remember in my haul for the VIB sale, I had purchased the, I don't even remember what it's called, but it's the primer moisturizer um, that is the nude glow. So it's the glowy version of this. And that's a permanent product. This uh, Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer um, is the matte version of that. Now I will say this says limited edition on the website, which is completely strange to me because these are usually permanent products. And so I don't understand, I don't know if maybe they're going to test it out to see how it works. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm not certain. But anyways, I have not used this yet either. I will tell you it smells so incredible. Um, but for those of you who are not, okay, let me find a way to open this. Those of you who are very sensitive to smell, this won't be for you. It smells like a orange popsicle, like a dream sickle. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. Um, this is what it looks like. So the jar is pretty much the exact same as that nude glow. Um, which I actually have not used that one either. I hope to do like a test it Tuesday on that and then I'll probably do a follow-up with this one. Um, but it is, it's weird because it doesn't, it's not like whipped. You know how sometimes creams come, it's just, it's flat. It does come full to the top and it smells like a dream sickle. It smells, or a cream sickle maybe. <laughs> it smells so good. So this has been getting really good reviews on Sephora.com. People have been loving it. Those who didn't like that nude glow are loving this one just because it's supposed to mattify. Um, our first of its kind matte glow mega moisturizer that does it all. Transforms skin with nourishment and deep moisture for a supple matte glow. Um, volcasmic with vo volcanic uh, minerals helps provide an instant matte glow. This creamy pressed water balm is infused with our advanced T-Oxy Complex, which is prickly pear, cherry tomato leaf, winter Daphne flora, that's probably why it smells so good, that helps to deeply moisturize, replenish, and restore skin's barrier. Um, Glam Tip provides a smoother, flawless canvas for makeup application. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying that. I will do a test it Tuesday so that we can try it out together and see how that works out. Okay, the last item before I go into lips, this one, and I... I completely get it. People who were reviewing saying, hey, if you would have looked at the, because uh, other people were saying it's so small, and other people say if you would have looked at the size, you would have known it's smaller. Um, and I just didn't look at the size, which, you know, I know it's it's legit. They do put the size out there. This was one of those times where I just hadn't um, looked. This is the Kat Von D Locket Brightening Powder. And the reason I thought it was going to be bigger was because I thought it was going to be the same size as the translucent powder. Um, but the point of these is kind of like those color correctors. Um, this is just in translucent powder form. So they've got the, this one is in the shade Petal. They've got a peach and then they've got a, um, hmm, I don't remember what the third one is to be absolutely honest. No, I don't remember. But there's three different shades. Petal being for the lightest skin tone, the peach being for medium skin tones, and probably that other shade that I can't remember is for deeper skin tones. And so it's supposed to really set, it's really meant for the under eyes, really supposed to set your under eyes while brightening. So um, definitely it's not as big because you're not going to use it all over your face like you would the translucent powder. Um, but <laughs> You're gonna laugh when I show you the size, those of you who are used to the translucent powder, but that is the size right there. It's definitely not a big tub like the other is. 
um, it is, to give you an idea, 8.1 grams or 0.29 ounces. So definitely smaller, um, but it, you know what it reminds me of is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. So that is the point of this, supposed to be very similar to that, um, just in kind of color correcting form. So we'll see. I don't know, now that it's come in, I don't know it's completely worth the price that I paid for it. So I may, I don't know, I may, before I, I hate dipping into something and then sending it back. Um, but then again, you don't know until you try something. But I, I think I'm going to think about this one a little bit more um, before I use it, just to make sure that I'm completely convinced that I want to hold on to it. And then lastly, we've got lip products. So we all, we all know and love lip products. I mean, I just, I feel like every YouTuber is just, lip products is the thing to get. So y'all know I love the Marc Jacobs Lamarck um, creme lipsticks. Those things are incredible. They're emollient. They're soft. They're moisturizing. They last. Um, it's what I use, like I said, for my, um, it's what I use for my engagement photo shoot, for my bridal photo shoot, as well as for my wedding. And my pictures just, I mean, they just came out so lovely because that pop of color was just there. It wasn't, you know, it was just perfect. And so Marc Jacobs has come out with liquid lipsticks. So I am very excited about that. Um, Again, Temptalia.com has already reviewed these, and so these do not really dry down to a matte lip. They are more of a satin lip, so they're not transfer proof. Um, I prefer that, I've told y'all before, because I don't like super matte to where it crusts on my lips, and then I have such a hard time getting the remaining off so that I can reapply. It's just so frustrating to me. <laughs> and so I prefer a satin uh, liquid lip so that it can easily be wiped off. I can reapply and done. Um, but I purchased them in the shades Slow Burn and then Shush Blush. There we go. So that's what they look like. Same black packaging as we are used to by Marc Jacobs. So let me go ahead and show these to you. Let me wipe my hand down from the blush so it doesn't get all mixed up. Um, very, very pretty, sleek black packaging like we know Marc Jacobs products to be. Um, this one is in the shade Shush Blush, and so I have not swatched this before. And, oh gosh, that is so pretty. They are so creamy. Wow, okay. Very, very nice. I think I am going to absolutely love these. Um, I'll do a Dazzled or Disappointed for you guys so that you have more of an idea. But first impression is that these are absolutely incredible. I love them. Okay, wow, this is really, really nice. Ah. Do you just hate it when you have a brand new like liquid lipstick and when you pull it out of the little tubey, you get it all over the little lip? I hate that. I like keeping things clean and, you know, nice and clean. So I hate it when I do that. Um, okay, so this one's taking just quite a little bit of layering not too bad. It's very creamy as well. Um, but this is what they look like. So super creamy. They're um, they're thick, but not in a bad way. In, the, in a way that's going to really feel moisturizing. For liquid lipstick, if I can get something moisturizing, that's already a done deal for me. Okay, this first shade is in the shade Shush Blush. And the second one up here is Slow Burn. Um, there was another one called Truth or Bear, which I was really interested in, but I was not looking to buy like 10 of these. I want to try them out first. Very similar to this one, only a little bit of a richer pink. Um, it looked really nice, and it's something that I may look into if I love these as much as I think I'm going to. So that's what those look like. It's the Marc Jacobs Liquid Lipsticks. Again, they are called Marc Jacobs Lamarck Liquid Lip Creme. So I am very, very pleased with those so far. <laughs> Okay, the next two products, and again, there is another shade I want to get, but I wasn't looking to buy a whole lot of them without trying them out first. Um, these are the Makeup Forever Artist Acrylip. So this is what they look like. Um, I got them in the shades 202 and 301. That's the only thing I don't love about Makeup Forever is that they number their products instead of naming them. Just dropped a lipstick. <laughs> and so it makes it harder, but one of them is the coral color, and the other is, I think it was described like a poppy orange. And so that's what these are. Um, let me see if the description is on here, like it was. Here we go. 
Inspired by the bold high pigment acrylic paints used by artists, Artist Acrylic covers the lips with intense color and a thin, non-sticky texture. The slanted cushion applicator hugs lips with comfort and provides uniform color in just one stroke. I always find those claims to be questionable because <laughs> it's just, it never can be just one stroke. But anyways, so let's go ahead and take these out of here. And they, I will say when I first opened, now I haven't swatched these either. When I first opened the boxes up, this is the tube that it comes in. I was a little bit surprised and disappointed at how small they are, but if it, if the claim on the box is correct that one swipe delivers that much saturated color, then I guess you don't need a whole lot. But they are very, very tiny, um, 7 milliliters or 0.23 fluid ounces. So um, this is what the colors look like in the tubes. And so let's go ahead and swatch these. So it's got that... Um, Kind of the it's got that little applicator that like those two faced um is it the melted mats the not the melted mats but the two faced melted lippies have and so that's what those look like this is a good saturation of color actually and it's it feels very thin but the pigmentation is <laughs> incredible let me swatch the other one real real quick wow okay these are really, really nice. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you don't need a whole lot. And they feel very, very thin. They're not very, they're not thick and sticky. Here's what they look like. Nice bright colors. I, I'm hoping that they transfer on camera as true to color as in real life. It doesn't, in the viewfinder, it doesn't look like they are. Um, but this one is almost like a neon coral, even though in my viewfinder, I'll tell you, it's coming off as pink almost and that's just definitely not true it is a like a neon coral and this one is almost like a neon oh orange I just I mean it's described as a poppy orange but it's almost like a little bit of a set like kind of a neon salmon type color absolutely beautiful it did not take a whole lot to get those um, swatches so it looks I don't know could play out differently on the lips, but it does look like you don't need a whole lot in order to fully saturate your lips with color. So more to come on that. I do want to get the other one called, uh, was it candy something? Anyways, it's kind of like the baby pink, kind of the color I'm wearing now. Right now I'm wearing Max St. Germain, kind of along those same lines, but in this form or in this format. And so if these work out as good as I think they are going to work out, then I would want to pick that one up as well. So again, just to give you an idea, I didn't give you the actual numbers. This one down here is 202. And then this one up here is 301. Last but certainly not least, I did swatch this the day it came in because I was a little disappointed in the color. I thought it was gonna be slightly different. But, oh my goodness, I swatched this on the back of my hand. That swatch would not come off with a shower, <laughs> with washing my hands. I had it the next day. I went into work with it right here the next day, and um, I had a couple of questions like, you know, what is that, everything okay? <laughs> so, oh my goodness, apparently this has incredible staying power, and it is the new Tarte Tardis Lip Paint. Um, they already have a line of these, but these are the matte versions. I'm trying to see, um, hmm. well, it doesn't say, but this is the matte version. It's like the, um, lip paint matte something or other, but anyways, it does have the matte, uh, it has the word matte in there. Um, this is in the shade Vibin, <laughs> which was described on the Sephora website as a wine color. And I was hoping kind of for something, you know how sometimes colors on the Sephora website just do not, uh, I always look at the description because a lot of times the color swatch that they've got posted on there can be completely different. Sometimes it looks more vibrant online, sometimes it doesn't. And it just sometimes cannot be, you know, it's not a match truly. Well, it was described as a wine and I think it, the way I was looking at the swatch online or the little color thingy, the little square, it kind of looked more of a wine slash berry color. So I was hoping for more red than brown. Um, and it just didn't turn out that way. This one kind of more has a 
like a brown stronger brown undertone and so there is a berry shade that I might try as well um, but this is what it looks like it has the same bottle as the previous lip paints but these have a matte top um, and this is what the color looks like right here let me swatch it for you again the pigmentation one but to the staying power if y'all are into those things that like stay forever in a day that don't transfer that you can eat and you know kiss your hubby your boyfriend um and still you know not have any transfer this is going to be for you <laughs> now for me i'm gonna have to figure i love that it has the staying power but i'm gonna have to figure something out because again i like to eat and i like to wipe down and be able to reapply but this is what that looks like um it kind of has that like a satiny look right now it does dry down to a completely matte finish at least that's the last time i swatched this it did um, and so that's what the shade looks like right there. Uh, again, staying power is apparently pretty incredible on these. Not having tried it on the lips, um, maybe it's a little bit different. I know, you know, with the, I don't know, it sounds gross, but like, you know, with your mouth being, you know, wet and you lick your lips and stuff, it may not, who knows, maybe it doesn't stay as long. But, man, the swatch on my hand stayed forever in a day. I was like, how am I going to get this thing off? All right, guys, so that's everything that I picked up from the um, spring 2017 preview. Stay tuned for the Mac Mariah collection because that's coming very soon as well. Of course, I love to give you guys the verse of the day before I let you go. Today's comes from Habakkuk 319, and it says, The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. Oh, such a beautiful verse. I hope this gives you encouragement. I hope it gives you inspiration. Hope, again, like I said in my last, I think I said in my last video, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and are looking forward to the Christmas season as much as I am. Um, but I will see you in the next video and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and want to see more like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so this way you're notified of any future videos that I do post and we can be a part of this journey together. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Bye.